Hello students, welcome to Vijayta IIS Academy and myself is Lenin, I am, I am the faculty of Geography and Science and Technology in Vijay. and in this video we are going to discuss one small topic from Science and Technology especially from the space related or we can take it as a particle physics topic okay. So particle physics topic is one of the topic of it is Science and Technology so we will topics related to this particle physics okay especially there are some theories in this particle physics topic like standard model of physics okay theory of symmetry uh, st string theory is there theory of supersymmetry like theories are there so we will discuss what are these theories of these theories okay why we want to study these theories we will see in this small video okay so first what are the different theories that are there in this topic okay so the most important models or theories in the physics okay are nothing but called as standard model of physics theory of supersymmetry and string theory okay so we'll see what are these theories but before that one so we have to see what are the major uh, reason why we are seeing this one because we know we know the universe has been formed when 13 the universe has been formed around 13.7 billion years ago right with the with big bang the universe started creating right around 13.7 okay so today we have matter okay this pen this pen is a matter okay this watch is there this is a matter okay this shirt everything everything is made up of matter right without matter we cannot exist in this world right so matter came into existence right from where this matter came okay so for example if i see if i see atom is there okay this is the atom right this is the electron, this is the nucleus, inside this nucleus we have protons, neutrons will be there and this, this entire structure is called an atom, right, this is the structure of an atom, okay, inside this atom we have different subatomic particles, okay, these are the, these are called as subatomic particles within this atom, okay, so from when these different atoms came together, they form into different molecules, when these molecules different molecules came together different matter right so all this matter nothing but came from these subatomic particles which came close and formed into atom and these atoms different atoms when combined and when they came together they called as molecules and different molecules come close and they will form into different particles and finally there will be formation of some matter which we can see in this world so to know what are the conditions that have been existed just after big bang okay what are the conditions that are existed after the big bang and which has led to the formation of our universe which is nothing but having matter today so we want to do some experiment regarding this one how what are the conditions that are existed and how these particles came into existence for that we have conducted one experiment called as large hadron collider okay so this is the experiment which we have conducted so that we came to know what are the different particles that have existed okay so we'll see what is this experiment then we will go to these three theories right so large hadron collider experiment this was conducted near france okay on the border of on the border of france and switzerland on the border of france and switzerland they made of length around 27 kilometers tunnel length this length this tunnel was situated at a depth of 100 meters below the earth surface okay this is the earth surface below the earth at 100 meters depth they have excavated a tunnel which is of length of 27 kilometers inside this tunnel inside this tunnel they have placed few things called as particle accelerators They have placed particle accelerators along with these particle accelerators they have also placed some superconducting magnets they have also placed some superconducting magnets within this tunnel okay the purpose of these particle accelerators are nothing but to increase the speed of any particle that is going in the tunnel okay so they have excavated some tunnel of length 27 kilometers below the earth surface of 100 meters depth okay in this tunnel they have placed particle accelerators and also superconducting magnets okay so now from these edges of from these edges okay from these two edges they started releasing some protons 
from here also they released one proton and from here also they released a beam of protons okay from both the edges they released a beam of protons to such an extent that they slowly they have increased the speed of these protons almost to the equal to the speed of light okay they have increased the speed of protons almost to the speed of light using this particle axle and at one point of time when these two particles which are coming from opposite ends okay they started colliding against each other the aim of this experiment is nothing but to create exact replica a replica of the conditions that were existed just after the big bang right so because of these very close after they crash against each other they have created the same condition which existed just after big bang and from that they started taking readings and they have started finding what are the different particles what are the conditions that are existed all these things that have they started studying using this large hadron collider experiment is it clear okay so this is the experiment which was conducted near france and switzerland border where 27 kilometers tunnel was excavated inside the tunnel particle accelerators and superconducting magnets have been placed and they have released a beam of protons from both the ends and they started increasing the speed of this proton almost to the speed of the light and they have crashed these two against each other so that they want to create exact conditions that were existed during the time of big bang right okay so this is the thing they have done using this experiment and this is the experiment one of this is the experiment which is the basis for the standard model of physics remember this is the experiment which is basis for the standard model of physics and we'll see in detail what is standard of more standard model of physics is talking about is it clear i hope you have understood this experiment and there are certain other purposes also because of which this large hadron collider experiment they have conducted they also want to know what is the uh, uh, means there is matter right so how this matter came into existence and there is one more thing called as antimatter is there antiparticles they want to know what is antiparticles and today if you see there are there is no antiparticles that were existed in this universe so they want to study what happened to this antimatter and they also want to study about dark matter dark energy also is it clear so these are some of the other things which they want to study using this large hadron collider okay so we'll see first standard model of physics then we'll go to the second theory and third theory okay so So in the standard model of okay, standard model of physics has spoken about majorly two things. Okay, one is fundamental particles, and second one is fundamental forces. Okay, standard model of physics has spoken about two things. One is fundamental particles, and second one is fundamental forces. And according to this theory, there are particles fundamental forces okay so first we'll see what are fundamental particles and then we'll go to fundamental forces there are 12 fundamental forces right these 12 fundamental forces are further divided into two groups remember they are divided into two groups one is quarks and leptons please remember these terminology these are very new terminology and these are very difficult to remember but every year some questions one or two questions are coming from this topic so these are a bit difficult to remember but try to remember these terms just if you remember the term that is enough for our exam so please remember these fundamental one is quarks and the second one is leptons okay first group is called as quarks second group is called as leptons are six in number leptons are also six in number okay remember quarks are six and leptons are also six in number and these quarks are further divided into three different groups okay one is up and down okay second one is charm and strange third one is top and bottom okay so if you see up and down charm and strange top and bottom these are the six quarks which they have divided is it clear so remember see groups will have one type of charge and these three will have one type of charge and remember one more term from these quarks from these quarks these protons and neutrons are formed okay from these quarks protons and neutrons are formed and we'll see see for example if they want to calculate the charge of this proton okay if they want to calculate the charge of proton then they need then they need two ups and one down if you see all these are having around the charge of plus 
टू बाई थ्री एंड ऑल दीज थ्री आर हैविंग ए चार्ज ऑफ माइनस वन बाई थ्री ओके सो इफ यू सी आई नीड वन डाउन फॉर दिस वन राइट एंड टू अप्स राइट वॉट इज द चार्ज ऑफ अप इट इज टू इंटू टू बाई थ्री प्लस वॉट इज द चार्ज ऑफ डाउन इट इज वन इंटू माइनस वन बाई थ्री राइट सो इफ आई कैलकुलेट फोर बाई थ्री माइनस वन बाई थ्री हाउ मच इट इज गेटिंग थ्री बाई थ्री राइट वन सो दिस इज द चार्ज ऑफ प्रोटॉन वॉट वी नो राइट चार्ज ऑफ प्रोटॉन इज प्लस वन द सेम प्लस वन वी हैव केम टू केम राइट सो हियर ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द चार्ज ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन फॉर न्यूट्रॉन वी नीड रिमेंबर फॉर न्यूट्रॉन वी नीड वन अप एंड टू डाउन्स ओके सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट वन अप एंड टू डाउन वॉट इज वन अप वन अप इज वन इंटू टू बाई थ्री प्लस टू डाउन वॉट इज डाउन माइनस वन बाई थ्री राइट सो टू बाई थ्री माइनस टू बाई थ्री इट इज जीरो सो द चार्ज all of us know the charge of we can calculate how these protons and neutrons are formed from these quarks okay these quarks are divided into six particles like up and down charm and strange top and bottom is it clear so these are the six different particles of quarks okay out of these six if you see out of these six if you see this up and down this this up and down are the most stable this up and down are the most stable and this top and bottom are the least stable particles okay so this top and bottom are the least particles and up and down are the most stable particles out of all these quarks is it clear i hope you have understood these quarks right so we will see what are leptons leptons are further divided into two types of particles okay two groups we can so leptons are divided into two one is negatively charged leptons negatively charged leptons and second one is neutral leptons these negatively charged leptons are nothing but there are three types okay negatively charged leptons are nothing but three types one is electron and we all know what is the charge of electron it is minus right that's why it is negatively charged second one is muon third one is tau okay all of these three are having negatively charged okay and the second group of leptons are neutral leptons okay these neutral leptons are also of three types one is electron neutrino muon neutrino and third one is tau neutrino okay so these are electron muon and tau and these neutral leptons are electron neutrino muon neutrino and tau neutrino and all these three neutrinos all these three neutrinos together are called as remember the term neutrino all these three neutral leptons are called as neutrinos okay neutrinos are nothing but called as neutral ones and these neutrinos are having mass remember the term they have mass they have mass but no charge this is the term which we have to remember for our prelims okay neutrinos are having mass but they don't have charge okay if you see the charge of these all these three is zero okay and if you one zero is the charge of this one so all these three together are called as neutrinos neutrinos are nothing but neutral ones and these neutrinos are having some mass but they don't have any charge so if you see fundamental particles are divided into two groups one is quarks second one is leptons leptons are divided into two groups one is negatively charged leptons which are nothing but electron muon and tau and the neutral leptinos are nothing but called as electron neutrino muon neutrino and tau neutrino and all these three neutrinos combinedly together are called as neutrinos which are nothing but they have some mass but they don't have any charge and these quarks are further divided into three groups one is up and down charm and strange top and bottom and top and the stable of all these particles and up and down are the most stable particles right and based on these these three are having positive charge of 2 by 3 and these three are having negative charge of minus 1 by 3 and you this protons and neutrons the charges and from quarks only protons and neutrons are formed from leptons only electron is forming within this atom is it clear i hope you have understood this one and these are the things of with respect to the fundamental particles which are mentioned in the standard mode of physics and now we will see what are the fundamental four standard mode of physics right so we have seen how many fundamental
there are four fundamental forces okay one is gravitational force one is gravitational force second one is weak force third one is electromagnetic force and the fourth one is strong force okay these are the four forces that are mentioned according to this standard model of physics and force between any two bodies which are having any masses okay if between any two bodies if they have any mass then each body will try to attract the other body right so gravitational force is nothing but a kind of attractive force okay so this is the body this is one body this body will try to pull this body towards this one and this body will try to pull this body towards this one right so this force is of attraction is nothing but called as gravitational force okay and this weak force is nothing but we have seen just now right this is the atom right inside this atom we have nucleus right inside this nucleus we have protons and neutrons right the force that is existing between these protons and neutrons within the nucleus is nothing but called as weak force and the strong force is also a force that is acting at this nuclear level both weak force and strong force are acting at the nuclear level and the last one is electromagnetic force which is nothing but the force of attraction or repulsion for example if i say if i take any two objects which are having positive charge when they are bring brought together then they will try to repel against each other right similarly when a body which is having positive charge and negative charge are brought they will try to get attracted right so the the force of attraction or repulsion is nothing but called as electromagnetic force okay repulsion these are nothing but called magnetic force gravitational force is force of attraction between two bodies weak force and strong force are nothing but are acting at the nuclear level and the final one is electromagnetic force which is nothing but between the different charged particles yeah. the force that is existing between the charged particles is nothing but called as electromagnetic force and if you remember if you for our prelims we have to remember one thing which force is strongest of all these forces right so if you see out of all these forces out of all these forces the weakest is gravitational force okay out of all the weakest is gravitational forces and out of all these the strongest is this strong force this is the strong remember this strong force is the strongest out of all and this weakest of all these so in our exam they may ask you either increasing or decreasing order so out of all gravitational force is the weakest right so if you in order see if you see see out of all this strong force is the strong of all strong is least order we have to out of all strong force is the strongest of all next one is force third one is weak force and force we have to remember this order for our exam okay so these are the four forces that they have mentioned in this standard model of physics as with respect to these fundamental forces is it clear so 12 fundamental particles and four fundamental for, uh, forces that in, in this standard of physics so if you see the same picture here standard model of physics if you see leptons quarks so if you see the quarks top bottom charm strange up these are having positive charge right positive 2 by 3 and these three are having negative charge of negative minus 1 by 3 and if you see leptons are divided into two groups one group is called as negatively charged leptons one is called as neutral leptons so neutral leptons means they are having charge zero and negatively group leptons are are having charge of minus 1 okay and there are four fundamental forces right one is gravitational force weak force electromagnetic force and strong force out of all strong force is the strongest and out of all gravitational force is the weakest of all the four forces we this we have to remember with respect to standard model of physics is it clear so we'll see the next theory which is nothing but called as which is nothing but called as theory of supersymmetry okay this is the second theory but remember this is one of the toughest theory very difficult to remember because they used the same terms to confuse us so just pay a little have used in this one is for every particle okay i'll write that one here for every particle
for every particle there is super partner particle okay so this theory has mentioned that for every particle there is a super partner particle according to this theory of supersymmetry okay these super partner particles are nothing but called as susi particles okay these super partner particles are called as susi particles which are mentioned in this one we'll see what are those particles okay so according to this theory of supersymmetry these particles okay these particles for every particle there is a super partner particle okay for example something x is there its super partner particle can be some y okay like that for every particle there is super partner particle but according to this theory these particles are divided into two groups okay remember according to this theory of supersymmetry the particles are divided into two groups first one is first group of particles are called as fermions okay first group of particles are called as fermions and second group of particles are called as bosons remember bosons are not are force carrying particles remember bosons are nothing but force carrying particles and fermions are nothing but just now we have seen quarks right so these quarks and there are anti quarks are also there similarly leptons are there and anti leptons are anti leptons are there all these came together are known as fermions okay quarks we have seen leptons we have seen right anti quarks are and anti leptons are nothing but these are also the particles which are anti particles we will generally call them as anti particles so what is anti particle we'll see what are anti particles as a separate topic but for time being just remember anti particles are those particles which are having opposite charge but they are having the same mass okay anti particles anti particles are those particles which are having opposite opposite charge but same mass okay opposite charge but having same mass for example electron what is the charge of electron is it positive or negative negative right so this is electron so for every particle i have mentioned there is for every quark there is anti quark right so for electro for every lepton there is anti lepton and we know electron is a lepton right for uh, what is the anti lepton of this one means anti particle of electron as we have seen it is opposite charge right so something it should be here it is electron is negative means this the particle should have positive charge right so the anti particle of electron is called as but having positive charge similarly for example if i take proton the anti particle of proton is anti proton we know the charge of proton is positive so the charge of anti proton should be right so like this there is an anti particle and the anti particle is nothing but those particles which are having negative or opposite charge we have to say opposite charge but they are having the same mass 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 will be same but they are having opposite charge for electron it is positron for proton it is anti proton for neutron it is anti neutron is it clear so like particles will be there so all these quarks anti quarks leptons anti leptons all came to known as fermions okay so bosons we'll see what are bosons bosons are nothing but called as force carrying particles and according to this theory of supersymmetry there are six bosons okay there are how many bosons there are six. boson is higgs boson okay first one is higgs boson second one is graviton okay proton and gluon so these are the six bosons according to this theory of supersymmetry first one is higgs boson second one is graviton second one is w z photon and gluon these are the six bosons according to this theory of supersymmetry just now before this one we have seen four fundamental forces right what are those four gravitational force weak force electromagnetic force and final one is strong force right so these are the four bosons what i have said bosons are nothing but force carrying particles and these are the forces right so for these forces there should be some force carrying particles right so for these forces there should be some force carrying particles for gravitational force the force carrying part 
okay for gravitational force the force carrying particle is gravity for weak force the force carrying particle will be w and z for electromagnetic force the force carrying particle will be photon and for strong force the force carrying particle is gluon okay so these are the four force carrying particles for each and every type of force for gravitational force the force carrying particle is graviton for w or is w and z and for electromagnetic force the force carrying particle is photon and for strong force the force carrying particle is gluon okay so for bosons these are the all the are same force carrying particles okay and the new one that was added is higgs boson this is the sixth one which was added in this theory of supersymmetry so according to this theory of supersymmetry there are how many six bosons are there which are nothing but force carrying particles higgs boson graviton w z photon and gluon these are the six force carrying particles or bosons this we have to remember see these are the particles right which i have discussed fermions and bosons okay so this has talked about two things one is particle and for each and every particle it has mentioned there is super partner particle right so we have discussed there are these are the different types of according to this theory right okay so we have discussed what are the particles with respect to this theory of particles according to this theory of supersymmetry one is fermions second one is bosons right so what it has mentioned for particle there is a super particle okay so these super partner particles are also called as super symmetry particles that is susi particles right susi particles are also called as super partner particles according to this theory okay so what this theory has mentioned here is please don't get confused here for every particle there is a super partner particle so these particles are fermions and bosons right so for every fermion there should be some super partner particle for every boson there should be super partner particle right so don't get confused here for the fermion mentioned the super part okay they have mentioned the super partner particle which are a new class of particles new of particles bosons and these bosons are not same remember they have used the same term so please don't get confused they have used the same term but these bosons and these bosons are different these bosons are nothing but a new class of particles which are super partner particles of these fermions what are fermions we have seen right quarks leptons anti quarks anti leptons right so for these fermions there are some super partner particles which are called as new class of particles called as bosons so what are those bosons we'll see for quarks the new class of bosons are called as s quarks for leptons the new class of bosons are called as s leptons for anti quarks the new class of bosons are s anti quarks for anti leptons the new class of particles are called as s anti leptons means they have used this single term s in front of these particles they have used the single term in front of these new class of boson particles which are different from this one okay they have nothing but s quarks s leptons s anti leptons and s anti quarks are nothing but a new class of particles which are nothing but super symmetry particles of these original fermions is it clear similarly similarly they have used the super partner particle of boson the super partner particle of boson they have mentioned the term fermions means the super partner particle of bosons are called as a new class of particles which are called as fermions and remember these fermions and these fermions are not same these two are different okay so they have used the opposite terms but these opposite terms are different example for fermions they bosons as new class of bosons new class of particles and for bosons they have used fermions as new class of supersymmetry particles okay so we know just now seen there are six in number right first one is gravitation uh, graviton and second one is higgs boson third one is w z w z next one is photon last one is gluon so these are all the bosons right 
so for this bosons there are some super partner particles right so what is the super partner particle of this super partner particle of this graviton is gravitino remember they have added the term ino at the end for graviton it's gravitino for higgs boson okay for higgs boson it should be higgs bosino okay for higgs boson it is higgs bosino and for w it is yno for z it is zyno for photon it is photino and for gluon it is gluino okay like that they have term i and o at the end of these terms okay so for bosons the new class of super partner particles are called as fermions these fermions are nothing but for gravitation it is gravitino this boson it is higgs bosino for w it is yno for z it is zyno for photon it is photino for gluon it is gluino okay these are super partner with respect to these bosons okay so please don't get confused this they have used the same term here and also here also so don't get confused they have defined separately with respect to these particles is it clear and remember out of all these bosons are there right out of all these bosons they have found out all the bosons except one boson remember for our exam that is the very important point which we have to remember they have identified all these bosons except gravitino remember they didn't find out of all bosons they have found out all the bosons which carrying particles they have identified except graviton graviton is the only force carrying particle which we not at found okay please remember for our prelims exam which is which of the following particles are not identified okay which of the following force carrying particles are not identified so we have to remember that is graviton graviton has been identified in whatever the experiments they are conducting right now throughout the world okay so this is the super uh, supersymmetry theory which they have mentioned so we'll see this picture and then we'll go to the last theory okay so we know quarks right quarks so these are the six quarks for each these are particles right for each particle there is a super partner particle so these are the quarks so these quarks are indicated with s quarks similar leptons right these are the leptons so s leptons similarly these are the force carrying particles okay so these are the force carrying particles here also if you see they didn't mention graviton they all five are there but except the graviton because graviton is not yet identified so for these also for these four cars force carrying particles are also the supersymmetry particles right so these are the supersymmetry particles which we have seen gravitino gluino all these things photino all these things right so this is the string theory or oh, sorry supersymmetry theory which they have mentioned and there is the last theory okay so in last theory nothing is to be remembered so because none of see this string theory no lab in the world is working on this string theory because to work on this string theory the temperature that is needed is very 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 high okay to sustain that much high temperature it is very very difficult okay so because of that one as we are not able to contain that much high amount of temperature no lab in the world is working on this string theory and remember the string theory is saying that whatever the particles that are there today okay whatever the particles that are there today all these particles are formed from the same single particle means they use the term it is the manifestation okay all the particles are manifestation of the same single particle remember all all particles are manifestation of same single particle all particles are manifestation of same single particle means from same single particle all the different particles came into existence and at different different point of time the same particle is seen as different particle for example the same particle can be seen as electron at one point of time it can be formed seen as proton it can be seen as neutron like that means from same single particle all these particle came into existence which is nothing but manifestation of the same particle
particles are nothing but the manifestation of the same single particle which is nothing but called as string particle which is nothing but called as string particle that is the thing that is mentioned in this theory okay don't remember beyond this one because no lab in the world is working on this string theory because the temperature needed for sustaining these particles is very 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 high temperature okay which we cannot contain that one in our lab so because of that one no lab is working on this theory okay i hope you have understood we have got some brief idea about this some of the theories that are there in particle physics but please remember these three theories are very difficult to understand i hope i have given some brief idea okay thank you students